Hi everybody, and welcome to Survival Devs. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at Modular Survival Systems Biohazard Personal Protection Kit. The Biohazard Personal Protection Kit. Coming in at £9.99, this is a small, handy sized pack, which is a, a suitable size to go in a car glove box, a duty bag, day bag, laptop case, whatever you like and whatever you need it for. Uh, it's a bag suitable for helping protect a person against biological hazards, whether that be uh, bodily fluids such as uh, blood, spit or being inhaled. So another part of this kit, um, it does come with a FFP3 mask, so if you are in a dusty environment, uh, for example uh, after a terrorist attack in a city, uh, that could also help in uh, that respect as well. But its primary purpose is to help protect against biohazards. So given the recent swine flu, Ebola virus and MERS epidemics, um, this is a pretty vital, in some cases, piece of uh, PPE, uh, especially for people who may be in high-risk environments. So let's say you are a border force, a police officer, um, paramedic, anyone in the emergency services or social care setting who may come into contact with people uh, from outside the UK in these high-risk areas. So let's take a look at the kit, shall we? Okay, so like all modular survival system packaging, it comes in this nice, sleek, waterproof, airtight package. Have the heat seal at the top, 10 notches, and a uh, Ziploc closure there. So the front of the pack here, we have the biohazard symbol, and we have biohazard protect personal protection kit. So if I spin it around, I'll read you the information on the back. So this module contains essential kit to reduce the risk of contamination from biohazards. Contamination can be from bodily fluids, whether blood, sputum, or exhaled. Given the recent swine flu, Ebola virus, and MERS epidemics, this is a vital piece of PPE, whether traveling abroad or working in high risk areas. Suitable for police officers, ambulance staff, airport workers, and travellers. So we have a contents list at the bottom here, and we have the QR code. So if you wanted to reorder or get more information, you can simply scan that with your phone and it'll take you straight to it. So let's open up the kit and I'll show you what's inside. Okay, so first up. We have a pair of gloves. This is a size large. Always good. First line of defense, gloves, if you're dealing with anyone with any kind of disease or uh, infection or anything like that. So gloves, vitally important in first aid and potentially everyday life. Next up, we have... There we go. Let's put that to one side for a second. So we have a thermometer here. So everything from 35 degrees Celsius all the way up to 40. So that's quite a neat, I've never seen one of these before. Um, EZE temp disposable thermometer, under the tongue or under the arm. I like that, very, very low profile and um, really smart. So the thermometer is to perhaps monitor someone with symptoms. Uh, for example, Ebola, there was a uh, high temperature associated with that. So a thermometer might help you uh, determine if you need to seek further treatment. So I like that, a thermometer. We have two packs of antibacterial hand wipes. These are really good, kill 99.99% of germs. So this is suitable for a number of different applications. So keeping yourself clean is vitally important. Uh, another thing I think this kit is good for, um, let's say for example you are a police officer or uh, perhaps a prison guard, or anyone that works on a kind of frontline uh, service. Uh, people, or oh, some people, seem to think it's socially acceptable to spit at you, um, and that opens up to a whole host of uh, nasties. So the ability to keep yourself clean with something like this out in the field, I think, is, is again worth its weight in gold. So two antibacterial hand wipes. We have a self-sealing biohazard bag 
So this is a uh, stick it at the top so you can lock it down and dispose of it safely. So if perhaps you have got any clothing which is infected or you want to get rid of your gloves or mask or anything like that, a decent bag I guess is of vital importance. Try not to damage the packaging. In a real situation, you would uh, tear it all apart. But I want to uh, review the detail photograph, so even the bag is quite intact. So here we have the FFP3 valve face mask. So this is standard use amongst our emergency services. Really good. Flat fold particular. Good enough for dust and other airborne contaminants. So, really neat feature to add to the kit. Okay, and this I think is really neat. We actually have a pair of goggles. So, these are dust and splash resistant, and that will again help uh, to prevent a way for bacteria and germs. To uh, enter the uh, eyes and then into the body so I like that a lot um, let's say for example you are working in uh, security and the person that you are restraining is a spitter it, they are people are known to do this if you had the time you could don something like this protect your eyes perhaps put on the mask as well and if you get any on your arm or anything like that you can wipe them off so, I really like the goggles, and I like oh, such a well thought out kit, I love it. So uh, yeah, that is the contents of this kit. So you have the two antibacterial wipes, you have the thermometer to uh, measure symptoms and things like that, you have a pair of really decent gloves, you have the face mask, you have the self-sealing uh, biohazard bag, and you have these splash and dust resistant goggles. So this is a multi-purpose kit. I think it's ideal for anyone uh, perhaps commuting into the cities with the uh, dust and things like that gets kicked up if something terrible happens like a terrorist attack. The goggles and the mask have a kind of dual purpose. So as well as being a biological uh, barrier, it's also a uh, actual particular and dust barrier. So I like that a lot. So that is the Biohazard Personal Protection Kit. Be sure to check out the other videos in the playlist. And uh, yeah, stay safe, stay clean, stay healthy, and I'll see you soon.